And how's it going, everybody? Welcome to track one of FSP, the Falcon Shield podcast. Like how I did uh, tracks there. Yeah. Like uh, like an album. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so today uh, I am your host, Anti-Rivet. Uh, we have got Joseph, the man, Falcon Shield, the incredible Lily Pichu. Yep. And Falcon Shield subscriber of the month, Sakai. Hello. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, uh, a difficult time without Lars. Our uh, fallen comrade is out getting drinks or something. I don't know, uh, as is his way. Uh, so, you know, rest in eh, to Lars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we had a, we good, had a run. good run. Um, you, one last drink. <laughs> one last drink to Lars. Um, okay. Uh, so we got to start off with something uh, pretty sad here. Uh, first off, the uh, Christina Grimmie murder, as well as the Orlando nightclub shooting, happened so- in such close, uh, like, of a time span to one another. Uh, and it was a terrible tragedy. Uh, of course, we all wish the friends and families of those affected yeah. uh, well. Uh, it's been uh, a week since since this has occurred. Yes? A week or so? It's yeah. Been- all right. So, yeah. Uh yeah, it's a uh, it's a tough thing to kind of look at uh, in in the world. It's it's always upsetting to start on a downer, but you know we, we kind of got to big big things happen. So, um, yeah, it was really. I mean, I like, was surprised, <laughs> really. But it, it's a shock. It's it's terrible. It's it's terrible beyond words. But yeah. I wish I could say that it's surprising. I mean, to me, yeah, it's just, just a matter of time. Happens all the time. The here. next one, it's not, uh, it's not the best. Yeah, it, it's weird because I've heard some other friends from like different countries talk about like how how come like U.S. has all these shootings all the time. I'm like, yeah, dude, I I, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> it just kind of happens. No, no one likes there's to talk been, about uh, gun violence been, here. Yeah, there's been like pictures and things like that. Yeah. The forums. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but uh, you know, we we don't have to we don't have to dwell on this too much. It's uh, it's uh, lives were lives were lost. Terrible event. But on the upside, how was everybody's week? It's been good. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, it's pretty, right. pretty good. It's all right. Sorry, right. Lily. What did you do this week? Like, we don't usually oh, hear man. from you. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I, I just got to say, we are so glad to have Lily as our I'll friend stop, and long-term uh, collaborator. No, seriously, because like we were supposed to have <laughs> another guest whom we couldn't reach. And who comes to save the day? Me? Oh, right. Yes. Lily. Lily. <laughs> no, shut Lily. up. Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We all know. I, we all know that I so, wrote yeah, lyrics thanks. for this conversation, so it's fine. Like <laughs> Everything is scripted. <laughs> Everything is scripted. <laughs> it's all an act. You were all fooled. Um, so, Joseph, I did want to take this time to... Uh, give uh, sort of a rig rundown regarding our equipment uh, because we don't usually talk about that kind of stuff. And I've seen questions uh, asking, what do we use to record? Uh, what kind of guitars do you use? What does Martin use, for example? Um, so uh, I, I just wanted to point out that uh, I personally, I use this, uh, I have no idea what model this microphone is. It's AKG uh, something. It costs like 500 bucks. Uh, it, it's, it, it wouldn't, it, it wasn't the, the cheapest thing in the world. But um, the thing I used to actually have as an interface is this terrible Line 6 interface. This, vid- this video is not sponsored by Line 6. Uh, and it will never be because I hate Line 6. <laughs> Their products are awful. Please never purchase Line 6 in your lives again. Uh, the Line 6 Pod HD Pro X, piece of garbage. Um, <laughs> this message is sponsored by Line 6. <laughs> 
No, seriously, the first time you told me you used like a Line 6 interface to record, I was like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. And it doesn't sound like garbled noise? So, wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty surprising. But, okay. So, um, I'm not at work right now. I'm at home. So, that's probably because the sound quality is shitty. But, um <clears throat> I use a uh, Rode and T1A microphone that I, I've been using for like 10 years. Uh, it's a mid-range, um, mid-price range microphone that have been serving me well so far. Um, I have um, a baby face. Yeah, it's actually called that um, audio interface <clears throat> that I bought last year. And um, it's 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 made uh, by RME, and it's it, I'm actually I'm actually having some problems with it. The it, it only has one. Uh, what's it called? It's like oh, a wheel, uh, like the uh, lem- the actual uh, knob, the a yeah. dial. It's, it, it's, yeah, it's a knob. It's a dial or whatever, uh, and it's like <laughs> malfunctioning <laughs> when I try to like. It's like it's the dial. only thing that you can use on it. <laughs> it's one dial, and it's not functioning correctly because, like, when I try to lower the volume, it like it, it can jump, oh, like, it will jump like to... 10, 20 oh. dB up, like totally blast my ears. So <clears throat> I, I'm all I'm only using the the software mixer <laughs> right now. I'm not even touching it, but it sounds good. Okay. Uh, by the way. <laughs> By the way, and Lars, it's very uh, small. Is back apparently, so he's gonna jump on in. Um, oh, all right. You want to drink in that? Um, <clears throat> apart from that, I have uh, like uh, a couple of guitars. Nothing fancy schmancy. I have uh, one uh, seven string, two six string guitars. One of them being baritone, easy to uh, down tune. And uh, Yamaha bass, and um, <clears throat> I, I, I mean, <clears throat> I've actually got a pretty crappy hardware uh, gear. As in your <laughs> setup, your like to actual recording gear, or your desktop gear. Um, no, my desktop is okay, but okay. like the recording gear, the music gear, it's it's really old. I mean. Pretty much everything is yeah. ten years or older, and um, but you know I manage. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of plugins. <laughs> Dude, like who needs nice sounding equipment when you can just clean it up with plugins later? Come on, like yeah, you can cheat it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just um, turn up the you know the quality button, the quality <laughs> knob. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. Mm, that's how it's done. Yeah. Uh, I know Martin, uh, he has a bunch of guitars. He just bought a new guitar. I don't know. I can't remember which one it was. And he uses like TuneTrack Dude, uh, plugins these days for amps. And is, I uh, use TuneTrack a lot as well. By no. um, like, I, I wish this yeah, was, I wish this by was sponsored by TuneTrack because we all love, we them. All love TuneTrack. They're great. They're, uh, they're great. Easy Drummer, thank you. Uh, like, seriously, thank you for Easy Drummer yeah. TuneTrack. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Lily, uh, what do you use to record? Like, you have like any special gear? Um, what's that mic called? The Shure, the SMB. Uh, the oh. SM. Well, I'm Eight. thinking 57, but that doesn't sound. SM7B. Right. Oh, 7B. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's a good work. mic. It works. It's a step up from the USB microphones I used to use. <laughs> that blue snowball. <laughs> Lily? Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 not the snowball. The oh, Yeti. The blue Yeti. Okay. Oh, oh, oh God. Ah. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Uh, I can't think of anyone I I know who's done voice work that has not used a blue snowball or a blue Yeti. I mean, it's a good startup, Mike, though, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Like, I actually gave a friend, uh, like, my blue snowball mic when I moved on to my, uh, whatever the mic I was using before. Bigger and better things. Yeah, bigger and better things. <laughs> you're When you're moving on in life, you, you got to give the rookie something, and Blue Snowball is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm actually looking at my Blue Yeti uh, <laughs> microphone right now. That's the one I won from Songs of the Wait, Summoned. Whoa, um, you won that? Holy crap. I actually yeah. I entered something in Songs of the Summoned, but we didn't win. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you were yeah, in Falcon no, Shield then. I was in a, I was in a different band. Uh doing different things. Worse things. But that's not yeah. the point. Saka, do you uh do you use any uh interesting uh recording equipment? Uh th- th- for recording I just like used um OBS. Right now I'm just using the um, the Vogeloid V three and four editor right now. Okay. Alright. Well there you go. Like every everyone's got equipment. And Lars has joined us. And Lars, I welcome. Drink. Lars, I don't oh, think drinks. your audio is working. No, his audio is not working. Lars is currently a mute, um, as we've discovered. <laughs> um, yeah, Lars, uh, fix your sound, buddy. Like your audio isn't working. We can't hear you, buddy. Like you're, you're just. <laughs> he, he'll get, he'll back, get to back to us. Uh, Lars, take, he, he gets we can enough. talk about his gear. I mean, uh, you picked it up for oh, him. Oh yeah, didn't I you? did. I did uh, help him. That is like the most expensive rig yeah, I've ever seen. Yeah, it was seen. ridiculous. Uh, so, <laughs> and I paid for that shit. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so, so we, we, I, well, I say we. Uh, I picked out this ridiculous uh, DDR4 build for Lars uh, for his new PC. Uh, in, uh, Lars, your your audio it's it's slowly coming back. It's 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 minimal. We can kind of hear it, but it's not there, buddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I, you that hear is, it faintly too. Yeah, just faintly in the background, like shit. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but I, I, I we, uh, that was you need to get yeah, louder. We picked but, up this ridiculous um, rig for Lars. Um, like I. Actually, if I if I go on Newegg, I can probably see what the entire build was because it was it was insane. Uh, I actually named it the Hammer, <laughs> like in like my Newegg uh, wish list thing. Yeah, it's quite fitting. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, let me see here. Okay, so he's got an MSI X ninety nine A SLI Plus uh, motherboard that the motherboard alone is like two hundred thirty bucks. Uh, he's got something like um. I don't know. Uh, uh, I think it's only 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, but he's probably going to get more uh, because why not? And I think he wants to get a. Uh, he has an i7 6900 for the processor, and he wants to get a. I believe the NVIDIA GTX 1080 uh, gamer clock SLI set up uh, for reasons, of course. Uh, <laughs> probably Minecraft, uh, at a guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, beautiful Minecraft. Please. It's getting a little bit technical yeah. now. I'm falling no, asleep over here, it, dude. It's tech talk, man. You, we yeah. we have beer for a reason. Yeah, like it's like for for all the people that watch this stuff, and I'm sorry that you have to listen through the tech talk. It it it, it happens, but you you have to know the the reality is some of this equipment is just boring, and we still have to use it to make cool things like. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So, you know, there you go. Uh, Lars uses a bunch of editing software. Uh, I I believe MS Paint was mentioned last time. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, there you are, <laughs> hey, Lars. Hey, welcome. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, so that's all the time we have for Lars, everybody. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Uh, I just want to know how many drinks. Yeah. How many drinks? <laughs> That's drinks. the question. Yeah, dude, how many drinks did you buy? Like, what were you getting? One. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, trip like, and hurt yourself? No. And... <laughs> what kept you? One drink? I'm uh, kind of slow, so. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Took me a while. All right. <laughs> dude, we, we've. We've All right, your glad you're back. Speed. We know that. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cool. This is getting personal. <laughs> I'm kidding, Lars. You know you're great. Um, nice. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're just about finished with this rig rundown. Uh, but we did want to jump into some fun news. This is Wordles. One million views. Woo! We did it. No Yay. Yay! Woo! 
first was too sexual, Kenny. Uh, okay, well. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right, well, <laughs> that's all the time we have for Lily today. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been great. <laughs> um, it's actually almost 1.2 million it's at this good. point. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually yeah, that's yeah, that's good. that's good for sexual verses, I think. So yeah, that's very good. Yeah, it's very good. Like I was expecting at least you know one point three, but you know whatever. I guess I don't have time to be upset about the the small numbers. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, Wardles was a blast. Uh, Lily, of course, was part of that experience. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, we always love having her around. Uh, she is oh, incredibly that talented. Was- <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lily, we're we're gonna see you in LA, I think, right? Like, you? We, no, we're we're not uh, we're not talking about why. We're just saying we're gonna oh. see you in LA. Oh yeah, I'll I'll be seeing you in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't wait. Not me. Not, not Joseph. Joseph. You're gonna meet Lars though. Nah. Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God, just- <laughs> just okay. Yeah. No, Lars and Rob are going to be accompanying me uh, to LA for uh, the event this time, so that'll be fun. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can uh, all hang out, get uh, KBBQ, and I guess drink. So that'll be fun. I'll just pretend Joseph is there. Yeah, he'll be oh. there in spirit. I'll be smoking every other break that I get. Uh, oh my god! You <laughs> can't force yeah. us to eat that nasty, salty, sweet. Oh. <laughs> I can do. <laughs> yeah, Lars. That was so nasty. Lars, you gotta carry you on the legacy. You have to carry on the legacy, and we'll record sure it. thing. <laughs> we'll record the whole thing. Um, okay, so in video game news, right? Because uh, we're all gamers here. Um, E three, that was the thing. Uh, look, yeah. look, I- I'm just gonna go get a drink. Because <laughs> I know nothing about E3. I watched zero seconds of it. So you talk about it, and I'll be right see back. You did the Zelda? No. The Zelda looked amazing. Zelda looked great. Goodbye. Agreed. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Uh, Jeff is going to go get a drink while we talk about E3. But uh, what you guys like about E3? What didn't you like about E3? Uh, did you guys have any things that stood out to you? Um, um, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Well, what I didn't like about it is that I, I didn't go. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that probably would be a negative. Yes, fair enough. I mean, well, I don't know. Because, like, I, I, I've i considered attending E3, and that just doesn't sound like... Like, have you ever gone? Like, is it really that fun? If you're into video games and you want to try out the new things, but even then, there's like a huge line. Yeah, for see, a lot of it. That that's why I wasn't crazy about PAX, like because when we did PAX Prime last year, like there were lines everywhere. So I figured it was just gonna be that that would be E3, essentially lines, the the experience. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I mean, like I I I will point out that. Uh, something I absolutely loved about E3, I, I was really happy to see all the, the Microsoft titles that were cross-platform for Windows 10 yes. and Xbox, because that yes. means I don't have to buy an Xbox, and that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I was really happy for all the cross-plat stuff. Like, Sakai, did you see anything, like, specifically, like, uh, for instance, like, with Microsoft or Sony that you were just, like, blown away by? Um... I'm excited to see the Party of Scorpio for like next year, where it's going to be two years from now, knowing Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, but it has potential. Yeah, I, I've got mixed feelings about that. Um, on one hand, uh, why did you announce the Xbox One S at the same time? On the other hand, uh, Xbox guys, isn't it about time to just kind of build the PC? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like. Yeah. Yeah, because if you want to do a 4K box, we got those. Like, we got, they look really like good, already. too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, but it's fine. Like, people are going to play how they want to play. No one's, uh, no one's going to judge you for that, Lars. Uh, but, you know. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, Lars. You, you see anything in E3 you were excited about? 
Uh, I did enjoy the uh, EA conference. <laughs> All right, so Lars is just gonna give troll answers. Uh, <laughs> I'm being serious. Yeah, and Timo is Timo's your favorite, his favorite too. champion. He uses paint, and EA was the best at E3 apparently. So, <laughs> so basically, when we get to LA, by the way, I'm gonna make sure I hit you like very hard. Like, <laughs> oh. like, <laughs> How violent. Oh, no. Carry your body. It, it's all... Yay, violence. <laughs> Yay, violence. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like uh, like I said, Zelda looked really cool. Um, I was, I'm really excited for that. Uh, even though I sold my Wii U relatively recently because I wanted that out of the way uh, while I <laughs> used that space. You immediately to... felt great. No, no, because I'm going to buy the X whenever it comes out. Okay. Yes, like, you know. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, I, I just like, That's yeah, my better to you. And then we can all play Monster Hunter on it. Like, uh, yeah. 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 Lily, <laughs> Monster that Hunter. That game's too hard, okay? What do you mean? <laughs> it's too easy, okay? <laughs> What do you mean? Too I tried playing on the, the bow and arrow. I we'll did just, nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah well, we'll to be carry fair, you. You, you started off bow and arrow, so that probably yeah, didn't help. Just, just go with the switch blade. Yeah, switch axe is life. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Switch axe is life. Get good, I Lily. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just not good at video games. <laughs> now, nah, like, uh, <laughs> you know, I actually really am hoping for another, like, uh, main platform Monster Hunter that isn't on the 3DS. Like, I know Monster Hunter Online is a thing. I don't know if we're getting that anytime soon. It would be nice. Um, oh, I would love that. Yeah, so. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Um, okay, so, uh, I guess, uh, does anyone else have anything interesting about E3 that they wanted to point out real quick? Like, because uh, I, I noticed Resident Evil 7, that was a thing. Um, you mean, uh, 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 uh Outlast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Outlast, PT, Evil 7. Was yeah. basically the game. I, dude, it's funny because I'm playing Resident Evil 6 with a friend of mine right now. Like, like basically, we're going through, and the game is, okay, Bad. it's not a good game. Yeah, it's, it, not. it's not. It's not a good game. Bad. But here's the thing. With co-op, that game becomes not only hysterical, but even tolerable. Like, like I actually am having a blast playing a co-op because I think... That game was meant to be played completely not seriously. Like, you can't go into that game expecting something important. Like, you're just not going to get it. You're, you're not, you can't go in expecting good. But if you want fun, if you just want to dick around with someone in a co-op game, RE6 is the game. And that's how they should have marketed it. Not as a serious title. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> yeah. Like, but, you know, when I saw RE7, that was so weird like because because like, you're watching it and yeah. you don't even realize that's what it's cool yeah at all <laughs> that's it was just such a turn like like it's not even like um it's that it, it it's not even like it's it's more reminiscent of older resident evils because older resident evils weren't like that at all like they they didn't have that sort of sense of horror in this smaller like type environment yeah it was walled in but you were still in a big place in resident evil so they, like like when you see that of course you think more along the lines of silent hill it makes sense that silent hill would do that but strange you know like i i don't know it could be good like if if they're copying different types of source material that already appear good then why not you know, yeah yeah it's good to see capcom ripping off of other japanese people so <laughs> 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 What's wrong, Lily? You're you're not gonna you're not excited for uh uh PT over over uh Outlast Evil? Sorry, there you go. Seven? Yeah, seven. No, it's, it's not cute enough. It's not cute enough. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, so Friday the Thirteenth then, or no? <laughs> Games already <Pokemon>? broken. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> oh, huh. Yeah, there was a new Pokemon announcement. Yeah. yeah, Sun and yeah. Moon. Yeah, Sun and Moon. moon. Well, well, they did announce they Sun and Moon. They the showed off footage. Yeah. Mongoose looking thing. Yo, dude, Young Goose. 
<laughs> his ability is broken. Dude, I just like his name. He sounds like a rapper. Like, Young Goose is the best. <laughs> I'm really excited. Like, I can't wait to like catch Young Goose and like I- I'm gonna I'm gonna like give him the most hip hop name. He's gonna be the best. Like, and and like, what I found interesting about Nintendo, <laughs> I was almost offended that they sat there trying to explain how to play Pokemon to people at E3, like <laughs> like for their treehouse. I was like, what the fuck you mean how to how to play Pokemon? What? Like. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, generally, about games, like, if you need to explain to someone how to play it, yeah, you're doing no, it wrong. Everyone knows how to play Pokemon, though. It's not like... <laughs> yeah, everyone knows how to... Uh, yeah, exactly. Everyone knows how to play Pokemon. But, like, in general, in gaming, in general, mm-hmm. you shouldn't, like, instruct people how yeah. to play, or you've yeah. done a yeah. poor job. You, like, you, most people can figure it out. <laughs> so it's free. Like... Yeah, most people can figure I'm, it out, with the exception of, like, I'm, fighting games. I mean, there are some people who are very slow to, uh, learn video games. Lily. <laughs> and, uh, the instructions, really. <laughs> no, no, actually, there there are some games that do require, like, instruction that you wouldn't find in the game otherwise, which is really awkward. Like Monster Hunter, for example. I, I understand why Lily would think, like, huh, this is really awkward. Like... Like sitting there trying to play Monster Hunter with no real explanation. I had to look up videos for like the special skills when I first started playing because the difficulty curve on Monster Hunter, it's not a curve, it's a ramp. It just goes up. Yeah. And then once you figure it out, it's like a, a sharp peak and it falls off. So, yeah, like you, you yeah. got the quest line, all of a sudden, like you pick a mission and then you do another mission. But all of a sudden, like the difficulty is increased. Yeah. Like, or they have you like facing off against three monsters with no explanation of like, what these things are immediately so you just kind of have to watch for patterns and then like there's no health bar which i love about monster hunter but also makes me really tense because there is no health bar you start getting paranoid about what to do <laughs> like because you're like I, am i doing damage it like and then its tail flies off and it's like oh i'm doing damage <laughs> so you know monster hunter monster hunter is a strange animal but you know uh there there are other games like that it's great I love it. so but yeah um, okay, so that's Lin. our three segment though. For best starter, oh, best starter, oh, yeah, uh, huh, huh, that uh, I don't know, that that bird, the green bird, that bird, the, the <laughs> bird, no, the the owl thing, oh, the, roll it, the Kuropopeko, yeah, Kuro... roll it. what's on um, the owl one, <laughs> yeah, I guess, close enough, then uh, <laughs> like the third one, the lost child seal thing <laughs> the, oh oh no like the oh my god what is that water type starter what is that thing it's a really ugly pokemon yeah ah oh, so ugly ah oh, uh. what's that guy's name is Populo, something like that oh god yeah i didn't even remember about the fire starter but we're going with the bird like bird is the word all right um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on from uh, E3. Uh, so we do have a question from uh, Chloe Nadine on Patreon. Uh, she asked, "What is our background? What did we study and where? Uh, as well as, is Falcon Shield our full time job? Do we have other jobs? If so, how do we manage the time we spend on the Falcon Shield projects?" Um, so we'll start with question one about the background and studying and where. My background is actually. Uh, Absolutely nothing in music with the exception of being part of a band before. Um, My background is in film and video production. I graduated from the Art Institute of Houston with a degree in film and video production. Uh, So, yeah. (laughs) How about you, Joseph? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, I started playing piano when I was seven years. Uh, I took lessons for another seven years and I went to some kind of music oriented high school um, where we had like music lessons every day a lot of mu- a lot of my music theory knowledge comes from Did that you guys time. battle with instruments oh. no no <laughs> just <laughs> uh, just like ensemble like like playing together and stuff and I I, I was always and I still am and this is quite 
interesting and uh, possibly inspirational story <laughs> that I was always a very mediocre uh, instrumentalist, and I still am. Um, but I think. <laughs> I think, no, wait, 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 it's true, but I think that I am the only one in that class out of, we were like almost 30 people, um, that makes a living of music now, so, you know, perseverance. Yeah, dude, like, Joseph... <laughs> We've talked about how, like, your instrumentals literally evolve over the course of working on projects. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I, mediocre, I simply disagree. I, like, I can't, uh, no, yeah, no, 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 we're talking about different things because, like, where my skill, where my strength is, that is, like, the production part, the arrangement, composition that part like but being able to play an instrument considering how long i've trained to being able to play an instrument i can't do it <laughs> I, I am i'm quite i mean mediocre is is like at best uh how i would describe my musical ability okay. but okay. My, but my ear is quite good all right, I, I can so, understand um, that. So, so, that, so that is that is my skill set. And <clears throat> after um, uh, high school, I, I, I didn't want to do music, actually. I, I was kind of uh, sick of it because all my friends who were not in that class were just doing normal stuff that normal kids did. Uh, so I wanted to do that, too. So I went and uh, like got into a social studies um, <clears throat> program. Um, but during that time, I kind of rediscovered music, and uh, I found out that you could actually record music, record your own stuff. And you know, this was back in the day <clears throat> when uh, one gigabyte drive was like a brick. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so, um, so it, it was kind of early on. But things were were happening on the home studio front, and and um, I got my own uh, studio eventually. Uh, very simple stuff, and managed to do my own recordings. And then I went to uh, another city to study music production for two years. And after that, I kind of um, made up my mind that this is what I wanted to do for a living. So. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, kind of stuck with you, that. You found uh, you found your passion then. That's good. That's uh, yeah. I mean, because um, like you did you did mention to me at one point that like your your strength is taking something that sounds bad and making it sound good, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I can I can definitely appreciate, uh, especially being a vocalist. And there there are many times where I'll do things that straight up sound bad. Oh, wait. Up oh, up. Oh, there we go. Poor Sakai. He's gone now. Um, but yeah, like where I'll do things that straight up just kind of sound bad. And then, uh, you know, we got to figure a way to make it not sound bad. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, to be fair, I mean, taking someone something that sounds bad and making it sound good, that is almost an impossible feat. Yeah. I mean, there's an expression. You can't polish a turd. Yeah. <laughs> garbage in, garbage out. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, welcome back, Sakai. Yeah, you, uh, you get that uh, phone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, so, I mean, e either either it's it's bad in a way that you can make it interesting and like quirky or special, or it's bad in a way that you just can't make good. But, but I mean, um, I, I'm I'm pretty I've I've become pretty good at like masking and and uh, covering up little mistakes here and there yeah lily no 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 no, no. i did not go there anyway so uh, okay lars your turn yeah lars uh so i think this is going to sound strange um i kind of uh, got uh, out of school pretty soon 
due to my uh, OCD. And then I kind of went from there and uh, I don't know. I mean, I still don't uh, know why and how I'm here, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange ride, to be sure. So, so you're self-taught, you could say? Yeah, completely. Yeah. I mean, I have this one perk that I learn stuff extremely fast, and uh, that's about it. And I think that's how I uh, got here. Uh, yeah, sadly. I mean, there there are some things that are pretty strange. I mean, like I like when you came to us, you just kind of showed up. <laughs> like, <we didn't... laughs> like, yeah, like. We had no clue. As a fan, like wanting to request a commission from us, and also like <clears throat> at the end of the mail, like uh, and also I'm an editor. Maybe I could do something for you. <laughs> <laughs> to and... be honest, I still want that co a commission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fair we enough. just took your workforce and pretended to forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> One it's day, fine. one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah, one day in the far off future. Uh, one day when we're <laughs> when we're not forever busy. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Lily. Uh, so what about you, Lily? Yeah. Wait, what? What's your what's your <laughs> what's your background like? What what do you, what do you what's your education oh. ba background or skill background, for instance? Well, as a young Korean child, I was forced to learn piano. <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> All right. That is Forced that is actually very sad, but uh, go on. <laughs> yeah, I I actually hated piano for the longest time because of it, and I was also forced to take art lessons. <laughs> this is so stereotypical. <laughs> well, um, Lily, you did actually yeah. you did help us out at one point. Like uh, you did piano for a song for me some time ago. Oh, that was so long ago, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I was like, "This is poop. I'm sending Kenny poop." <laughs> yeah, but don't don't worry. Like I, I picked up Joseph's talent of, of making anything sound good. So like we got that. It's fine. That is true. <laughs> Sometimes when I stay near you guys, I hope I can siphon off that talent. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot. There's a lot of talent to siphon off if you stand near Joseph. Uh, for me, it's just like voice acting. I guess that's it. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like <Yeah>. no. <laughs> like I want your voice, Kenny. I mean, I don't. <laughs> You saying you don't want my voice, boy? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh man, uh, Sakai. So, uh, what what background do you have so uh, regarding like your your current career path or what you currently okay, do? Okay, so, so I'm. Uh, I'm considered a jack of all trades because I am just recently graduated high school for technology. But then I went to a program for culinary arts. I got um my food degree, my food handler, things like that. Oh. And then currently I'm going to college for graphic design and music production. Oh. Okay, Ooh. that's actually great. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. I met I met my uh my ex girlfriend at a uh like like when she was doing culinary arts. And it was pretty great because she would let me like eat her homework, so that was pretty awesome. But, I, but yeah, don't you what keep from that, that? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Totally cool. laughs> no, I'm not implying anything. I'm just. What are you like, implying, Lily? No, 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 no implications. <laughs> Lily, as long as it tastes good, you should eat it. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's true. But then I get that. <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that's good advice. The second thing was uh, uh, the question about, is this our full-time job? Do we have other jobs? If so, how do we manage the time? Uh, the answer is, we don't manage our time. Uh, that is not a thing that we do here at Falcon Shield. Uh, we just kind of wing it. Um, so <laughs> I'm, it's true, I'm sorry if the reality is a lot more different, like that, that you think that we're capable of of being studious and managing our, our day jobs, like especially in Joseph's case, uh, working with Level 8. Uh, or, or in my case, doing nothing. Uh, like, if, if, if you think that we can manage playing these... games and reading comics, dude, dude, believe it or not, like I've gotten to say that my job is to read comic books for the past 
like what two months this is ridiculous like <laughs> and then like the the thing is life keeps me busy because i am often going around and helping other people with different things like if someone has yeah. a project that they want me to to help them out with i will sprint to go help them not only is it a decent paycheck it just i love doing work on certain things like i love being able to voice act for people or being able to help them with uh film production work or even doing pre-production uh content for them so i do that stuff all the time and i mean i, I yeah. am surprised how often i stumble upon like co league community stuff that that you're in that i'm just you haven't told me about this and uh, i'm just watching it and i'm like yeah that's kenny's voice that's kenny and you're like everywhere kenny's voice is very versatile yeah indeed it's like tappy but i think he died now oh yeah, he's dead. Okay. We, uh, oh, Kenny's back. From okay. the dead, I've returned. Basically, I'm back. <laughs> that was scary. I figured it out. Uh, yeah, no, it's pretty cool. And Sakai managed to, oh, no, he's back too. Sakai's back. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what's going on, but okay, we're back. Uh, anyway, I was telling people <laughs> that I work at level eight, where I am the, um, what's it called, audio director? and uh social media manager but yeah. but i'm gonna be focusing on the audio director part from from um this uh fall and uh, beyond which is awesome like i'm so glad that like uh that this whole thing's worked out because i i seriously i remember like when we were first talking about this like uh like like years ago you were just like yeah i'm not sure my wife is is on board with the whole thing and you're like yeah we're kind of struggling a bit but now like years later we're like all pretty stable in what we're doing right now not to mention our jobs are basically uh intertwined with our falcon shield work and it's it's been fantastic yeah it's so. it's amazing it's a i would say blessing but there is no god so <laughs> what are you talking about i'm right here oh. <laughs> Um, no, but, but really like being able to do what I do, um, I, I did not expect that I was hoping for it, but I did not expect it. like two years ago. I was kind of down, uh, because, um, I was doing what I could, but it just wasn't enough. So yeah, I'm really happy. Well, it's always good to, it's always good to see these rags to riches type things. Lily. Oh, they're oh. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Lily, what's your day job? Yeah, yeah. What is your day job? I'm moving on. You guys are just really inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, inspire us. I can't. Inspire. I don't. I just YouTube and stream. It's boring. <clears throat> I don't know. Streaming is a day job. Okay. Like, I mean, like, I mean, Lily, like, come on. Uh, what you do, like being able to do what you do, it's it's really like a privilege if you think about it. It's it, it is hard work, no doubt, but how many are able to to do this as a living? Yeah, no, like streaming is hard, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do that forever. Like, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, possibly, yeah. possibly the hardest thing I can imagine must be like to put yourself out there. I would not like to do that. And uh, I do not envy you. <laughs> yeah. I know it's um. I'm very grateful for it. It's just I feel like I'm at that point in life where I want to do other stuff. If that makes sense, so I'm like exploring yeah. my yeah, I totally get that. paths. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Like uh, Lars, what's your day job? Like besides uh, editing for us, <laughs> I don't have a any job be besides that i had one but that's quite some time ago oh yeah you did mention something about working with uh like previous bands as well yeah yeah and that was kind of bad and i got scammed a lot so now i'm here <laughs> Dude, we don't Falcon scam Shield. you nearly as much <laughs> that's, that's our, that's our thing. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our logo. Fuck That's shield. our logo. We, we don't scam you nearly as much. 
<laughs> but yeah, I get uh, sca uh, scammed for my life. <laughs> it's my thing. Oh now. well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean the girlfriend thing? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was bad. <laughs> At least that you got bad. the joke. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I uh, I've really adopted a new personality. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the second or third part of that question, how do you manage the time? I think it's just as Kenny says. Um, we we kind of don't because what time? <laughs> what time exactly? Yeah, because I mean, I'm at work. Like I have. I'm trying to have like regular office hours and that's working out pretty well. So I'm, I'm at work from 8 AM to 4 or 5 PM, uh, mm -hmm. most weekdays. And, uh, I have like a 60% employment at level eight and I fail with Falcon shield stuff. And I have like the best workplace, my boss and, uh, the rest of the team is very lenient and they let me do pretty much what I want uh, when I want to and I can go and leave as I want to as long as I get the work done, which I always do. Um, so, like having many hats is sometimes a problem for me. Like I have many things that I need to keep track of and many things that I need to delve into especially with music like now when we're working on a big project i really need to like get in the mood i need to like shut down the lights lock the doors and just focus and get into the whole mindset and like make epic music um yes and and then like after lunch <laughs> i i need to do something completely different and play overwatch <laughs> yeah during <laughs> lunch i play overwatch and <laughs> after lunch i need to do something completely different so that's difficult yeah. like switching uh several times a day which i i do and um it's hard to like focus on one thing so yeah but uh, like on the upside yeah. you, when you get home you got your family so that's always yeah great. absolutely like, i mean that's my yeah my number one focus of course <sighs> yes <laughs> oh lily <laughs> i just have time to like work and sleep that's it where do you work um before the current job i have i worked at the, the jacob java center the one that hosts the um, new york comic con Ooh. huh now I'm like currently working on Hagen Dos, and from a month from now I'm working at GameStop. Oh, cool! Mm. Huh. Ice well, cream. Like you, uh, GameStop. You and Sunny will have the same job. <laughs> uh, this is like Sunny posted this picture on Twitter not too long ago that had me dying. It's like, uh, it's like, hi, welcome to GameStop, and it's just those women going, "I have a boyfriend," <laughs> like, and I'm like, "Oh, poor Sunny, this is your life in GameStop." <laughs> Okay. Are we out of questions? I think that's it. I think we're good. You want to wrap this up? Uh, nah. I'm just really enjoying our time here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, it's yeah. cozy. All right. Okay. Look, we're done here. I'm <laughs> sick of you. Yeah. I'm sick of, I'm just, sick of uh... each and every one of you. All right. Uh, the, this stop recording this is it it's Ninja. over stop the show podcast over no more episodes we're done we're not doing this next month goodbye everybody uh finale is here it's on episode one now uh thank you guys for joining us uh it has been really great uh we will be back next month uh doing something similar We'll we'll try to be a bit more organized, but no promises, absolutely none. Um, and feel free to ask uh, your questions, and maybe we can come up with like some sort of theme for yeah, yeah. the next episode. Yeah, like uh, we're open to suggestions. Give us your questions, and yeah, give us your give us your questions, and we'll we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. So um, yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. bye, bye, guys. <laughs>